Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new around here, my name's Jenny and I have a website called mybritneyspearscollection.com. In today's video, I'm showing you another item out of my collection made by Yaboom Dolls and in conjunction with Britney Brands. This is the original Baby One More Time doll from 1999. I can say that hand on heart is 100% original from that year because I bought this in my local Woolworths at the time. Woolworths over here in the UK doesn't exist anymore. I remember specifically going in and thinking, should I buy this? I'm a little bit old for dolls. Probably was about 17, 18 at the time. And thinking, am I a little bit old? for a doll but I thought you know what I'm gonna buy this I wish I could go back in time and buy all of the dolls that were on the shelf I really do because these dolls are hard to find and the price just goes up and up each year for them it comes in this bright pink box it's obviously meant to catch a younger eye for example on here it says it's ages four and up it would have been on the same shelf as like Barbies but the unique thing about this is it's actually a singing doll which at the time was quite unusual it does say on here you can try me and her belly button is the on and off button now it's got the full song on here as well as the 20 seconds Sample, and it is an official singing character by the Yeah Boom Company who don't exist anymore but they're the ones that made the original Britney Spears dolls. Now mine obviously because it was imported to the UK has an additional sticker on it tells you who imported it into you. It's not that interesting but it does say it's there by Vivid. Now on the side you've got the Britney Spears website and also some information about how to join her official club. When I was 17, 18, I wouldn't have just gone to an American website, it probably wouldn't even send it over to me. So unfortunately I did miss out on any Britney Spears fan club merchandise but if you know of anybody who's got merchandise from her, let me know, I'd love to see it. Now on the back it tells you how the doll operates. It comes with a removable cartridge, which this one plays maybe one more time and it's flesh coloured so it will blend in with the doll. There are separate refills that can be bought, you've got all the catalogue numbers there and it tells you it comes with different outfits and different songs. Now batteries are included in this and mine still has the original batteries and it does still play so it's just normal information about the batteries and safety. So yeah it says here high quality sound. Now this is 20 years old so at the time it was high quality sound now it just sounds a bit tinny it doesn't sound brilliant but it still plays which is the main thing so i'm just going to show you again the outside of the packet unfortunately i opened it i didn't play with it but i definitely opened it and i didn't even think at the time keep this pristine i mean i should have done but this is why i sometimes keep some of my items pristine now because it doesn't look great did you know that there is an original original doll out there with a weird face. Um, Brittany said it looked like a bulldog chewing a wasp or something along those lines. It just does not look attractive. I've seen it on eBay it goes for about $60 and I just can't bear to get it because it is really, it's not pretty. I'll put a picture of here if I can find it and you'll see what the original doll looks like. It doesn't look like this and it's not pretty. Now when you open up the doll itself it comes out in this yellow little insert and it comes with some accessories. So you've got some trainers here or sneakers whatever you want to call them. Very similar to like Skechers which she later advertised for. Um, there are some black shoes as well. It comes here with not only a headset but like a headphones and tape player accessory as well and she's in her Baby One More Time school uniform. So the school uniform itself, you've got a little grey cardigan, little grey skirt and matching grey stockings. She does come with underwear as well because obviously it's for children so she's not going to be completely naked underneath. And the cardigan and the shirt are actually sort of stitched together. Not fully but enough to the point of I've not really taken it apart. And it's got a little crop top, white shirt and sort of like a bralette kind of thing as well. Now when you play it, the sound comes out of underneath her chest. On her right hand side is the volume up and down wheel so she can get louder and on the side you can't see it just because the way the clothing is stitched and I'm not able to remove it without taking all of her clothes off. They are quite sewn in. I don't want to damage or rip anything. You can actually change between the 20 second sampler and the full song. Now because of copyright I'm not going to play the full song here for you however I will release the full song on a separate video. If that gets flagged up by YouTube I will remove it. I will just put that in a separate video later on if you want to look at it. It will be like a rough edit. It won't be me putting it together nicely in the video like this. If you do want to see the whole singing doll, I will put that there for you. If 
if you like items like this out of my collection, don't forget to tap the subscribe button, hit the bell as well, it will give you a notification when my next video comes out. Close up of the face as well, it's quite a nice face. There are some really, really talented people out there who do one of a kind dolls. They take this Britney doll, they sort of take the original transfer for the eyes and they repaint it to make it almost photorealistic. I think they're amazing, they do charge a lot of money for them. I don't put them in my collection just because they're not original, but I really do respect their work. So again, I might link some in here for you to see, just so you know what I'm talking about. And I would recommend having a look to see if you follow people who make these amazing dolls. If you want to see the big version of the porcelain doll, I have that in a separate video and I'll link that here as well. But this is the original of plastic Yaboom doll, meant to be played with by probably people a lot younger than me. I still really like this, this has a special place in my heart despite the fact that I opened it. She does look a little bit warm now. She is one of my favourite dolls just because she is my first doll. Now on the back of her she does have the little slot if you wanted to remove the cartridge and put in a new song. Again I haven't taken the clothes off of this doll so I'm not going to do that. Plus I don't have any additional ones but I do have different versions of the singing doll. Singing different things so I could switch them out if I wanted to but I don't see the point in that so I'm not going to. I think this doll is really well designed. The fact that the belly button is the on off switch, the speaker's hidden underneath the clothes, the volume and everything is hidden really well so all that you will see is like a normal doll. Anybody would have loved to have this one and again I'm really happy to have it in my collection. So I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did don't forget to give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below. Would you like to see more of my dolls? I will get them out to you as soon as I possibly can. Don't forget to hit the bell and subscribe as I said previously. Follow me on the Instagram at Britney Spears Collector and you can always visit my website mybritneyspearscollection.com if you want to see any more and I hope to see you on my next video so until then take care bye guys